Yeah. <laughs> uh, something smooth yet sinister. Coming through to diminish you. And this here's the finisher. <laughs> Check it out. Uh. What is going on, guys? It's free coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today, I'm sure you guys know by now, we had some maintenance go on in the game, guys. Alright, so during the maintenance, one of the things that got added was the EX Dungeon in Zamberg. Alright, so they finally got the EX Dungeon added for this quest region. Alright, uh, it has a couple of missions in it. Alright, this EX Dungeon actually does have more than one mission, as you can see here. Okay, so the first one's called Hour of Agreement, second one, Retribution Demon. So what we are going to do today, guys, is we are going to take on the first of those two, okay? So it's called Hour of Agreement right here. 50 Energy, 6 Battles, Continue, Unavailable. So you cannot continue, guys, okay? Now uh, let's get to it. Uh, let's see what friend. Uh, this is good enough. Nice Avani friend. Okay, let's see here. Bup, bup, bup. Uh, so this is my questing squad, guys. All right. So, uh, first time I did this mission, this is who I used. Questing squad. Now, there's a much better squad than this that you may be able to set up yourself, but uh, this is what worked for me. So let's see here. Alright, cool. Alright, so total of six battles. Uh, the first four of these battles are pretty much uh, straightforward, guys, alright? Just a bunch of uh, trash mobs, so. Mow down the first four, bada boom, bada bang. work all right so we actually got a lot of content with this update um, a lot going on right now so try to get some of this stuff recorded for you guys all right this mission actually isn't too bad as long as you know what's going on Like a trash mob here. Alright, so uh, like I said earlier, this is just my questing squad, guys. Um, no real special rhyme or reason. I just, the first time I did this, I came in with my questing squad here blind, had no idea what was going on, and just did it. Alright, so uh, I'll tell you right now, this is, the, this is not the optimum crew, guys, okay? Uh, the optimum crew put in a lot more work than what you see here. Just so you know. But they they're good enough. So some people uh may want to use two mitigators for this mission. Um a second mitigator would make it easier. I personally don't think it is required. I did it just fine with this squad. One mitigator. One full mitigator anyway. It's just a little more work on your part, but it ain't the end of the world. Battle four, one more trash mob. Go ahead and deactivate auto battle. Cause the next battle I ain't necessarily trash mob guys.
It would still be alright though. So, boss battle. Here we go. So, it's you, the human who has been disrupting the sealed areas lately. Do you know what you've done? Do you know what this seal is? You fool, allow me to inform you what the demon shadows are sealing away is. The god of destruction, Karna Master's power itself. Knowing this, you still don't intend to leave. Then I shall test you. I am the Heresy Demon Callan. I only I live only to protect the seal. Show me who you are. Alright, so Mr. Callan wants to put a stop to us, but um uh, let's move ahead here. Let's show Mr. Callan that uh he's stepping to the wrong folk. Alright, so turn number one. Now what you want for this battle uh, more than likely is a very strong squad all right I'm not sure my squad is strong enough so uh, I'm gonna lose two units right here guys all right they're just gonna die as you see here and the one and the two all right so should be able to just keep the auto battle going here uh, our goal for this battle is just to get this guy below 50% HP, which I think this squad can do right here. Bada boom, bada bing. Alright. So, below 50% HP, goal is met. I see you have some power, but it is still not enough. I shall leave this to the demon who approaches now. Defeating you is not my goal after all. See, he revives those two back, and we move ahead. See? Bada boom, bada bing. Jam done. Alright, so. Turn number one. Get the overdrive ready. I would not use it right now, okay? Because she has mitigation up, as you can see. The first turn decreases damage mitigation. So um, it's pretty hard to OTK her at this point. All right, so we're not too focused on doing that just yet. Uh, in the meantime, let's just set up the basics, which is going to be damage mitigation, BB gauge on attack, Zeraya, just because she got unlimited SBB. Now the reason we don't want to go all crazy on her right now because she has an attack called Judgment. Basically, every unit that you just use BB with, uh, she's going to completely empty out their gauges at the end of her turn, as you are going to see here. You saw that? So those are the three units I used BB gauge with. She completely cleared them out. Now, she still has damage mitigation up, as you can see here, alright? So... What we are going to do, I'm just going to use a Fujin. Because Krantz is the only one that I really must do it with. Alright, so here we go. You can go ahead and do the work with the rest of them here. So as you see here, when you Fujin an enemy, she just, she just drops him like a bad habit. She freaking drops him. All right, now look at her now. Look, mitigation now gone. All right, now she does continue to hurt you pretty good upon using a Fujin on a unit. All right, so it's a risk we have to take. But uh, if you need the Fujin, go right ahead. The main reason we use Avani here, though, is because her UBB gives us super damage. Whether we're using BB or normal attacks, our damage pretty much goes out of the roof at this point, alright? So, here's what we're going to do. Get this ball rolling. Record pretty good with Avani UBB like that.
Empty seal is going to hurt just a little bit there. Hit us with the judgment again. Now, what I can do is our, our UBB is worn off. Yep. So that's the wipe is clean. Now this you don't really have to do per se. This is more of a precaution error than anything else, alright? You don't have to do this. I'm going to do it just to increase the wreckage that we do to her. So that's just to increase the amount of wreckage, guys, all right? That part you don't really have to do. But as you can see, it helps It helps wreck her, okay? All right, so done and done, guys. Not too difficult, all right? Not really too difficult at all. You just kind of got to know what to do. Because if you don't, um, you're going to end up using too many Fujins or something like that, and she is going to just completely destroy you. All right, so... Complete it upon initial completion. You get a lot of goodies, but the main thing you want is the one time item you get for her from defeating her. It's called the All Seeing Eye. Now, the reason that you want that item, let me take you into town here, really quick. First, we need to head to upgrades because I got to upgrade the Sphere House. Upgrade that bad boy. And we leave on out of there. And we come on over here to Spheres. Alright, now we just scroll on down. As soon as the game will allow us. Load kind of slow on PC, guys. Just give it a second here. It's thinking, it's struggling, it's thinking. And I did not mean to click that. Back up. Take it all the way down, right here. Demon Silk is the name of the sphere. Alright. You need it to make it. Alright, so when you complete it, you get the all seeing eye. These spheres you craft, uh, I pretty much had crafted already. So, Demon Silt negates critical and elemental based damage, slightly boosts damage reduction probability when guarding, and probable 25% damage reduction. Boom! And that is why you want to complete that, guys. Pretty decent sphere there, okay? It's more for protection than anything else, but uh, it's not too bad, alright? It's not too bad. So, give that to a unit. For example, if you are going to be taking, say, an Earth unit into the. Serial trial or something like that. That may be a sphere you want to get to that unit. Help keep them alive, alright? So, uh, I don't think I showed my questing squad off initially. So, I'll show you guys the squad, spheres and all that. And then uh, that'll pretty much be it. Alright, so this is my questing squad. Nothing special about them at all, guys. And they were able to get it done, as you saw, relatively easy. So, um, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you found it helpful. Um, any questions, comments, anything like that, please leave them down below. Otherwise, um, I thank you for watching. If you wish to join the Facebook group, link is down below in the description. So, uh, once again, thank you for watching. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and all that wonderful stuff. And, of course, I'll be back at your screen with some more of the Brave Frontier soon, guys. Alright? So, a lot more content coming up, guys. So, uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned for the content. Alright. Later, guys.